So you want to learn how to play New Life? Well, you've come to the right place. I am making this um, video to teach you how I play New Life. Now, of course, you can play it however you want, but uh, if it helps you at all in your pursuit of learning this song, this is how I do it. Um, I'm going to go through each chord shape that I use in this song, um, and I'll play through each one. I'll, I'll pick it through with my right hand, um, individual strings, and uh, I'll put a diagram on the screen as well so you can um, see it from that uh, angle. And then a little later in the uh, video, I'm going to turn the song on and be playing along with the song so you can see me doing it in that context. And um, so let's get started. Um, this is how I do my A minor shape in New Life. And I, you can see I use my thumb right here to um, finger the fifth fret on the low E string. So I wrap my thumb all the way around. Another way you can do it is to bar. Traditionally, you would just bar it like that. I think it's a little bit easier to just wrap my thumb around and do it that way. It's just how I've learned to do it. So I'll show you again, A minor. not doing anything with my middle finger here. And then um, G major. And then my C major, just a regular open C. And then my F major. And sometimes I'll hammer on. And um, in this song, you'll also see me sometimes play C like this, which is just a basic C5. Um, so, And uh, you'll also see me playing D minor up here. And it's a D minor 7 that I'm playing. So um, you'll also see sometimes that I hammer on So it sounds like, so what I'm doing is I'm hammering on from the fifth fret to the seventh fret using my ring finger on that D minor seven. And um, usually going into the chorus of this song, I'm playing an E seven shape, which um, I'm usually playing up here, E seven, dominant seven. And um, so those are a lot of the shapes that you'll see me play in the verse and the chorus, the first half of the song, um, the pre-chorus as well. And then we get into the bridge and we kind of do a key change that um, le yeah, leads us into a key change. So the bridge, I'm playing these shapes here. I'm switching up to an F minor seven. And it's the same fingering that I used for my D minor seven earlier in the song. So that's my F minor seven. And then I'm going down to a C minor seven using that thumb again. And then I'm going down to a B major, which is how I played the, my G and my, oh, my G really earlier in the song. So my B major and then an A sharp minor seven, which is how I played my C minor seven. So we're just kind of walking down. So F minor seven, C minor seven, B major, A sharp minor seven. And then I go up to a It's a, it's a C sharp dominant seven. And then I end back down on an A sharp dominant seven. And that's when I go into the key change. I switch that to an A sharp minor. And I'm doing the same shapes that I was doing for the most part in the first chorus, just one fret higher. So we changed the key up one half step. 
So those are the shapes that I'm using in this song. Um, and one other thing I wanna talk about in this song is my right hand technique. And how I'm doing that is um, pretty consistently throughout this song, I'm doing this, this technique that's, that's this strumming technique that is kinda like this. I'm not using a pick, but I'm going, So what I'm doing here is I'm using my thumb and I'm kind of hitting the strings and I'm muting all my strings right now in my left hand by just holding my hand, hovering my hand over the strings so that when I strum with my right hand, you can't hear any of the strings. So you can try that. If you can't get it at first, try again. Um, just give it some, give it, give it a couple weeks. Honestly, um, it's uh, you'll get it with some practice. But it was hard at first for me. But um, so I'm doing a lot of the. Where I'm going down with my thumb twice, and then I'm just raking the strings to kind of create that rhythm sound. like that and when I rake that string I'm just using my my uh, index finger and I'm going down and my paw the the uh, I don't know what that's called something that part of my hand is um, sitting the string going down so how I would practice this would be to turn a metronome on and to basically just practice um, really slow. And then speed up slowly. But enough about that. We're going to get on to the song. And um, so I'm just going to turn the song on and uh, we'll get started. Breaking away 
from the tides Telling all my friends about my new life Giving up my old news Saying goodbye to my old blues Breaking away from the tides Telling all my friends about my new life Kicking off my old shoes Saying goodbye to my old blues Breaking away from the tides Telling all my friends about my new life da da There you go. That's how uh, I play New Life. And uh, as you can see, I even messed up myself a few times. Maybe you couldn't see. Rewatch the video and you'll see it. Um, but that aside, that's generally speaking how I play it. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, there's some places where, you know, and I'll, I'll kind of play it differently, honestly, slightly different every time. But um, there's some places where maybe I'll play the, you know, F sharp seven down here instead of up here, or I'll vice versa that, you know, um, going into the bridge or before the key change, the E dominant seven, E dominant seven. So little things like that, you know, or I'll play a C open instead of using my C five shape. So, um, Anyways, that is how I play New Life. Um, I'll try and do some more tutorial videos for you on other songs, but um, I hope that helps. And um, feel free to leave a comment uh, in the comment section. If you have any questions or if you're still struggling about something, feel free to um, send me a direct message um, through Instagram or Facebook or um, here on YouTube. So um, thanks and God bless.